Ricky and Conrad were born into a family in a system that made it almost certain that they would never do well. Their mother was hooked on drugs and sold drugs to pay for her habit. When they were young, they were exposed to people who used drugs consistently, people who sold drugs, violence, SWAT teams, child protection services, extreme physical abuse, and neglect. CPS had them and their siblings in and out of their care all the time. Rosa Morales, which was Conrad and Ricky's mom, was sent to prison for drug charges. So she sent her 13-year-old son Conrad to live with her brother Raul, who was also a convicted felon, and his wife Kathy in Randall, Washington. Ricky, who was 10 years old, was sent to live with her mother. Ricky did not do well with grandma. He told a trusted teacher, my life is not worth living and wrote, Die, Ricky, Die, on his arm. The school told Child Protective Services that Ricky was suicidal, and CPS sent him to a psychiatric facility for treatment. Rosa had been let out of prison by this time, but she couldn't get Ricky or Conrad back. She says that the social worker told her Conrad seems to be doing fine in Washington, so why don't you send Ricky there as well? You have one week to send him to Washington, or I'll go back to court and put your kids into foster care. From what we know now, it would have been best for these kids if the social worker had done their job and sent the case back to the family court. Ricky was sent to live with his uncle Raul and Aunt Kathy instead. At first, this newly formed family seemed to be doing well. Raul told his family that both of his boys were doing well in school, making friends, and playing on local sports teams. He made up a story about how the boys did well in their new home and how happy they were but the family would soon find out that that was all just a terrible lie.